Hello everyone, welcome to our new video of mathematical programming in Python series. In this video, we will look at one of the fundamental concepts of mathematical programming, which is called quadratically constrained quadratic programming. Let us start with today's topic. Quadratically constrained quadratic programming is solving a mathematical optimization problem that involves quadratic functions in both objective and constraints. Recall that quadratic programming has been widely used since its development in the 1950s, as it can accurately model many real-world systems. Quadratic programming is widely used in optimization of financial portfolios, image and signal processing, regression or scheduling in chemical plants. The problem formulation is the following. Suppose that we have n-dimensional vector x. Our problem is to minimize x transpose times q times x plus q transpose times x plus c, subject to x transpose qi transpose x plus qi transpose times x plus ci less than or equal to b. Note that c is an n-dimensional vector. q and qi are symmetric matrices and q and Q, the vector q and vector qi are n-dimensional vectors, and b is an m-dimensional vector. We have defined our general formulation. Now, we can write down an example model and code it in Python using Grubby. The model that we are going to implement is the following. We have a minimization problem where our objective function is x squared plus 2y squared plus 1 over 2z squared. We have constraints. The first constraint is x squared greater than or equal to 1. Second one is y squared greater than or equal to 1. And the last constraint is z, z squared plus y squared greater than or equal to 3. We have lower bounds for x and y, which is 0. Additionally, we have an integrality constraint for y and binary constraint for z. Let us start with coding. First, we need to import our package, as you all know. The process is pretty similar to our previous videos. If you haven't installed Groby and GrobyPy package, you can see the video with the link above. Second, we create a model using the model function, and we name our model quadratic. Next, we will define our decision variables where x is a continuous decision variable with a lower bound, 0. y is an integer decision variable, again, a lower bound, 0. And last, z is a binary decision variable. In step 4, we will define our objective function, which is x squared plus 2y squared plus 1 over 2z squared. And we set our aim as minimization by writing grb.minimize. Lastly, we need to add our constraints to the model, which are x squared greater than or equal to 1, y squared greater than or equal to 1, and lastly, z squared, great, z squared plus y squared greater than or equal to 3. Now, we are done with constructing our model. We are ready to solve our model. We can solve it by using the function optimize. The output shows the objective function value, that is 9, and the values of the decision variables as x equal to 1, y equal to 2. Let us see how we can add another constraint when we already solved the model. Suppose that you want to add a new constraint. We can do this by using add q constraint function as we, we want to add a new constraint that is quadratic. We then solve the updated model by using the function optimize. When we do that, we can see that our decision variable x is changed. It has to satisfy the new quadratic constraint, which was x squared greater than or equal to y squared plus z squared. Now, our objective function becomes 12, and the decision variables becomes 
x equal to 2, y equal to 2, and z stays the same and equal to 0. Thank you for watching our video. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to support us. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.